Okay, guys, I went to the Almost Free shop and scored. I'm so excited. I got some really fun, awesome things for resale and for myself. So stay tuned for the haul. Hey guys, my name is Missy and I'm a full-time thrifter, picker, or better yet, treasure hunter. I love finding things that catch my eye and bringing them back to life. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, auctions, and yes, even curbs. So come join me on this adventure. Let's do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved. I am back with another haul video for you guys today. Um, this is a haul from the Almost Free Shop. I love this store. I don't know how many times I can say that over and over again, but it is a little local um, thrift store in my hometown. And well, not my hometown, the town that I live in now. Um, but uh, I love it. I love the Almost Free Shop. It is so awesome. I This is like two different trips. So I'm going to show you everything that I got in these two trips. I'm so excited. Um, so the first thing that I got was this beautiful, beautiful vase. You guys know I love my glass. So I'm probably going to try to find a place for this because I don't have a lot of purple ones. And it is just gorgeous. There's the bottom. It's not like, uh, it is smooth and, but it's foggy. So I'm not for sure the maker on this, but I don't really care because it's gorgeous. And I love this piece of glass. And it was only $3. So not bad at all. That one will be staying with me. This one will also be staying with me. And I don't know where I'm going to put it yet, but I will find a place for it. It is a beautiful genie style bottle. I love it. It has its lid. It is missing the cork or the rubber piece that originally went around the stopper. So it is a little bit loose in there, but I don't really care because, like I said, I'm keeping it for myself. So I'm not for sure the maker of this. I have a bunch of genie bottle styles like this that are um, in polyglass, but I don't know this one because I haven't seen this texture before. And there's the bottom. Do you see how it's not even all the way around? It's like odd shaped. So, I don't know. I really like it and this was only $2 so, and it's purple. It's really pretty, so that will be staying with me. Okay, now I have a big box right here, as you can see a little bit in the corner, but it's full of pans. Now, this is the only orange one that I got. Um, please don't make fun of me. I know I say it funny, <laughs> um, but this is the only one, the orange one that I got, and I got this because it's West Bend. It's in fabulous condition on the inside, like really, really nice shape, and I think it will be perfect. It would be perfect for Halloween or fall display. I think it's, I love the design on it and it was only $1. And like I said, it is the West Bend company. So I got that for a dollar. Awesome. And then the rest of the pans in here are, it's a whole set. There's like a bunch of them, see? And they are the club, the club pans. Club. And like some of them are in really good shape. Some of them not so much. Like this one, the inside is a little as wear, as you can see. So, I mean, but they all have They all have lids to go with them. So like this pan with the lid was only a dollar. And I'm not for sure why the smaller ones were a dollar. That one's probably a dollar because it wasn't in the best shape. But like, whoa. 
this. I got this big pot. It was two dollars. And I mean, it's not in bad shape on the inside. It's got a little bit of wear, but they're the club. Again, the club pots and pans. There's a bunch of them in here. There's like a skillet, that big pot, um, a big pan, a medium pan, and a small pan. So, and they all have lids, like I said. Okay. So then I got this. Now I usually don't pick up stuff like this, um, but it was just sitting there with the breakables at the almost free shop. And I'm like, that kind of looks a little bit different. So I got it and I, f I picked it up and I flipped it over and it is, it's carved Egypt on the bottom. Do you see that? How it says Egypt. And then this one says Egypt as well. This one's like stamped. I don't know if you can see it very well. It's like. It's kind of hard to see. But it is there. So I don't know. I don't know anything about this. I just thought it was unique. Because I've never seen anything marked Egypt before. I don't know if this is like a souvenir piece. It's weird because this piece feels a little bit heavier than this piece. Um, I don't see any other markings besides Egypt and where it used to have like some sort of sticker or something on there, but I, I don't know. So if you guys know anything about this, you know, it could be just, I have no idea, but anyways, it was only 50 cents. So I thought it was cool. You know, if, if it's nothing... I'm out 50 cents. Um, then, I couldn't leave this behind. I know it does show some wear. See, is a little scratched up. He must have gotten to a fight. <laughs> That's all I can say about him. But he's a M Mexican um, pottery piece. And he is signed by the artist. And he was only 50 cents. So, like I said, I couldn't leave him behind. You know, he just got into a fight with the other owls is all. He's... I don't know. <laughs> then I got this. And it's a glass squirrel. So cute. It was only 50 cents. Still in its little box, but it is a glass squirrel. How stinking adorable. And it's holding a nut. I think that's so cute and I don't see any markings on it anywhere. So just a glass squirrel. Then I got this little Mexican pottery piece and it was only 25 cents. It's just a small little bud vase and it is signed Mexico on the bottom. So I will, since this is such a small piece, I'll probably just lot this up with, um, with another piece, you know, some other pieces of Mexican pottery I have. Then I got this cute little comb and brush set. Now, I wouldn't have picked this up, but I have a mirror, a tray set that I can put it with. So that's why I picked it up, but it's, it's. It doesn't look old to me, but it is heavy. This is a heavy metal. And here's the comb. But it was only 50 cents for the set, for the comb and the brush set. So that's not bad, 50 cents. And like I said, I have a mirror tray that I can put it with. Then I got these cute little things, oh my goodness. It is, her dress is caught in his collar. There we go. Um, it is a woman with a chain with two dogs. How cute. I just thought that was so cute, right? She's got her chain with her two dogs. And it was only 50 cents. 
and she's in good condition. She doesn't have any broken spots or anything like that. So, and I like her little dress. Cute. Then I got this. Now this is a vintage bookend. It is a vintage bookend, but it is awesome. It is a, like a, to me, it's like the mid-century style, you know, panther, the Black Panther. I love it. I think it's awesome. It does say Duncan Enterprises 1979 on the back, so it's not mid-century. Technically, it's just mid-century style. But isn't that awesome? I think it's so neat. That's such a neat piece, and it's a bookend. It does have a little bit of wear. Here and there, you could take a colored pencil and fix it right up, but it was only a dollar. So I thought for the Black Panther, that was a heck of a deal. Very, very, very good deal. I love this piece. I'm going to move this box down because it's just the pans. Don't worry, they're just metal. That's really loud. <laughs> okay, so I can move this stuff over. Then, no, you know, I probably shouldn't have bought this. This I bought this for <laughs> more of like nostalgia because it brings back good memories for me seeing Richard Simmons. Good old Richard Simmons. Um, my grandma, I remember when I was a kid in Nebraska City, she always used to put Richard Simmons VHSs in and watch them. And it just brought back a good memory for me. So it's the whole box set. And it even comes with, um, it comes with the four VHS tapes a cassette tape, and the exercise thing. See? And these are like brand new. This set is like brand new. So, I thought it was super neat. Do you guys remember Richard Simmons? So I bought, you know, it's a box set. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then here's the cassette tape. <laughs> so I like it, you know, whether it be worth a lot of money or not, it's not, I already looked it up, but, um, I'll just probably try to sell it on Facebook marketplace and maybe somebody else will love it for nostalgia like me. And like I said, it is a box set. So I think that's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty neat. Then, I got this and it was only 50 cents and I picked it up because I seen that it is a metal owl, like a cast iron owl. I don't know what the purpose of it is. It also has this in there with it. So I don't know what this goes to. What's it say? Oh, it says Taiwan on the back. So, I mean, it's not that old. Does that go in there? Oh, there we go. That's neat. It's a hook. See, you can screw it. It's got holes right there on the top and the bottom so you can screw it into something and it's a it's a hook that's you can rotate it how neat for only 50 cents pretty pretty cool Then I couldn't leave this behind. It is, I haven't been picking these up much lately, but I, this one I couldn't leave behind. It is Go Fish. 
a card game. It was only 25 cents, but the reason why I couldn't leave it behind is because, oh, look how cute these fishies are. You know, and these are be perfect. Ooh, this is good for Halloween. The devil fish. These would be good for um, package toppers. You know, like to put in your packages or they would be good for, um, they would be good for tags for your flea market or anything like that. You know, they're really, really cute. There's a bunch of different ones, like all kinds of different ones. So for 25 cents, I couldn't leave it behind. And then I picked up this cute little, like, I don't know if this is a salt cellar or what you would classify this as. I know it's the Daisy and Buttons Ellie Smith, um, and it was only 25 cents, but I'm not for sure what it's exactly called. I don't think it would be a votive holder because it's triangle. So, but see, it's, it's a cute little glass piece. I really like this. Great shape. A quarter. Can't beat that. Then I picked up this. Now I'm going to have to have Luke um, see if he can turn this on for me or plug it in or do whatever to make sure it works. But it was only a dollar. And I got it and I because I looked them up and they sell for, they sell for pretty good money. I'll put comps up here. Um but it is a Sony reader and the, it's got this, it's two things taped together. So the Sony reader, the actual reader is in here. The machine, I'll show you guys real quick. Let's see. So that's pretty cool. I thought that was really cool and it was only a dollar. So I figured why not you know, try it out for a dollar. Even though I have a million things to list, I can't pass up a good deal. It's really hard for me. I know that's like a hoarder thing to say. Then I got this and I took the sticker off, the price sticker off already because I didn't want it to um, rip the box. But this is a pocket watch. It is a pocket watch and I will show you guys. It is very cute. Now, again, I don't think it's old. I think it's just made to look old, but it's still cool. And for only a dollar, that's what I paid for it, one dollar. Here, let me open it for you guys. It's really pretty. And it's got a lot of detail on the front and on the back. So I thought it was cool. For one dollar, why not? Stop saying that, Missy. That's going to turn you into a hoarder. Now, I think the stuff that I pick up is pretty cool. What do you guys think? Um, if there isn't anything that you guys are interested in, you guys can always send me a message. Um, the link is in the description below, but my email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. All lowercase letters. I will put it right here. I've still got lots more stuff to show you. So then I got um, a thing of beads. I'll try to speed it up a little bit. Um, this, These look really cool, and this was only 50 cents, but these beads look really, really nice. Really nice beads. And they kind of feel like glass beads because they're cold. They are glass beads. They are. Here's one that looks like jadeite. That is neat. And they were, for the whole container, it was only 50 cents. Then I got this cute little matchbook thing. You can hang on your wall. It's a vintage. Hold your matches or whatever. It could hold whatever you want, but it's metal. Really, really good sh shape. 
I thought it was neat. And again, only 25 cents. I love the color. I like the red color. So this is pretty cool. Then I thought this little statue was neat. So I picked it up. It's a woman holding a baby. I thought it was really neat and it was only 50 cents. Um, no signatures. I was hoping there would be a signature under that price tag, but there's not. Looked like there was something there, but that's nothing. So I thought that was, that was really cool. I like the detail in her hair. I thought that was a neat little piece of art. Then I picked up these, so pretty. I should have my black light out here um, to see if they glow. So I'm going to pause you and I will be right back. Okay. They kind of glow, they're pretty. I would say they glow. That's pretty cool. Very, very neat. And these were only 50 cents a piece. Very, very nice thick glass candle holders. And they have their original label. If you can't read it, it says, Crystal Clear made in Hecho and Frante in Czech Republic. Czech Republic. So these are pretty cool. I like these. And there's a pair. There's two of them. They're gorgeous. Doesn't this one look more orange than this one? But you can see the orange inside of it when I... You see how it looks orange? or yellowish a little bit. So again, 50 cents a piece. Don't know if I'm gonna sell these or keep these. I have not decided. I'm probably gonna sell them because I don't have the room. I don't know, we'll have to see. This I'm keeping though. This is going in my collection. It is a Viking glass mushroom. This one does not have its original sticker anymore, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I didn't think they would stick the price tag over it. Um, it didn't have its original sticker, but I have. I have a set of these already. I have two green ones that look exactly like this that have their original sticker. It's the same texture on the bottom. They made it look feel like an actual mushroom. See the lines? And it is a Viking glass mushroom. These sell for quite a bit of money. No, they don't glow. But these sell for quite, the Viking glass mushrooms sell for quite a bit of money. Again, something staying in my own collection. So I will be keeping that. Oh, it was $3, by the way. $3. Then, I got another Daisy and Buttons. Um, I don't know. I'm assuming this is a votive candle holder. It, I don't, it kind of looks like there's wax down in there. Maybe it just needs cleaned. I don't know. But it is a Daisy and Buttons pattern. Cute little something or other. And it was only 50 cents. 50 cents. Cute, cute. Oh, I didn't. See, because the did you know, like, a lot of the times the Amberina stuff glows. Sometimes the Amberina stuff glows, I guess. I should say sometimes. Then I picked up this little thing and I love it. Um, 
this again i think something i'm going to keep and stick in my own collection because i've never seen anything like this i before ever like i don't even know what it is it's not dirty on the inside that's the way the glass looks see how it's slag glass it's like blue slag glass so i don't even know what the purpose of this is but it's a cute little it's just a cute little kind of like a bud vase but i don't know i like it i love the colors the blue with the green mixed in it's very very pretty and it's small so i can just put it on my shelf and put it in my collection of glass then i got this now this is so pretty so so pretty it was only 50 cents. It is, um, I think it's Houston Potteries, but I can't really, or Hasto Potteries. I don't know. I can't read. Something Potteries, but it's gorgeous. Look at those lines on there. Isn't that so pretty? I think it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous piece and only 50 cents. So this would be really, really, really pretty for fall decor. Very pretty piece. I'm gonna have to start setting stuff over here now. Then I got this cute little blown glass vase. Love it. Love the glass, love the swirls in it. See how the top is done like that? It's very unique. And I love my glass, so anytime I see a neat piece of glass, I always pick it up. This one will be for sale because I don't have a lot of room. And it's even got some orange in there. You guys can't really see it too much, but there's some orange mixed in there with that purple. It is so pretty. See right there? And then it's right there. It's really pretty. Only 50 cents, too. So not bad at all. There's the bottom. You can see the colors more on the bottom. Pretty. Then I picked up this beautiful piece of carnival glass. Now I don't normally pick up carnival glass. So, and I don't really know anything about carnival glass. So if you guys know anything about this piece, please let me know. See how the bottom, oh, my nose is itching. See how the bottom is all purple. It is purple glass. But then the top, there, the inside is like carnival-y. Like the oil, kind of. But this is a beautiful footed dish. I thought it was so pretty. There, I love the design. And it was $2. So I think that's a pretty good deal. What do you guys think? Very pretty piece. Then I got this. I love this. This is a heavier glass, another carnival piece, carnival glass piece. So again, if you guys know anything about this, let me know. And it was $2.50. Here's the bottom. And I thought it was a really pretty piece. And I think that's it for that box. Okay, so then I got, I'll show you. These I'm keeping. One I'm actually keeping and one's going to my mom. Vintage Pyrex bowls. Um, she told me she is missing, so I'll probably give her this one. It looks in better condition. This one looks a little bit faded, and I'm going to use mine. Um... She is missing the blue bowl from her set, from the whole, like the primary color set. And so I told her she could, ooh, if I don't break it first, I told her she could have the one, the other one, and I'll keep the one that's in worse condition. But look, 50 cents, you cannot beat that for Pyrex at all. That was nuts. I couldn't believe they were still there. I was a half an hour late getting there that day. And they were still there along with these. I got two of them 
these two Pyrex. Now these are in fantastic condition and these I will be selling um, because I think uh, these would go really nice to a collector. I'm not for sure the pattern, but they have both have metal lids. Now I know Pyrex normally comes with glass lids. These ones fit on there perfectly. Like they're perfect. And plus the metal lids make them easy for stacking and display. So both have metal lids, both in fabulous condition. Two Pyrex casserole dishes for 75 cents a piece. They were both only 75 cents a piece. Crazy, crazy deal. Then I picked up this. I thought it was cute. It's not vintage, but it's adorable. And it's on wood, beautiful, cute paper, like flowered hearts. I think they're so cute and only 75 cents. You can hang it up like this on your wall and it's just adorable, really cute display piece. I like it, like an accent piece. And then the last thing I picked up there, oh no, nope, I got one more thing after this, I guess, I forgot to show you. So I picked up this. Now I paid $4 for this because I just thought it was unique. I thought it was a really, really fun, unique piece. I'll put it over here because I will put comps up here because I looked it up online and it's actually, I think it's part of a set. But it's weird, like see, and it's signed. Really, really cool, huh? So I got that, then I'm gonna have to take you guys for a ride because the last thing that I got there at the almost free shop is this side table. So don't judge my mess. Oh, there it is. Isn't that beautiful? OMG. It's solid oak, gorgeous, gorgeous side table. And it was only five dollars. Five dollars. That was it. So that is my haul from the almost free shop. I think I did quite well. I had so much fun finding all these vintage treasures. Like I said, I love that place. And if there's anything you're interested in, feel free to send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. All lowercase letters, the link is in the description below. Um, I also list on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. Those links will be in the description below as well. And I do live sales, so make sure you hit that bell button so you're notified every time I post a new video and when I go live and do my live sales because most of the stuff you see will be for sale on my live sales. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking.